Out there with Perkins. Then it's Mullen. And it's offered in at the five. Here's Jordan. And Team USA getting Michael another Jordan basket the right five. there. And Clark with Team USA. They don't seem to be holding anything back. Without question, if, if these young guys are intimidated by playing against pros, they're not showing any signs of that. And you know, it's not so easy to have to go up against the guys you're accustomed to looking up to, Kevin. That takes a lot of confidence. A lot of guts, you're right. One half gone, Coach, and you have to admit, Jordan has looked good matched up against some of these NBA stars. Oh, absolutely. He's attacking when he wants and finding himself shots showing no fear against some talented NBA defenders. It'll go when the Team USA lead is cut down now to just 12 points with the basket from Thomas. Good job by Isaiah navigating to an inside shot, getting a high percentage look. The shot's good from Jordan. He's ready, willing, and able to carry the load offensively. And so Thomas will bring it up for the Stars. Double team on Thomas. Parrish against Mullen. With the fadeaway. And it's Parrish missing. And people will say he shouldn't take that mid-range look. But he had the space and is capable of making it. Here's Jordan. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Jordan's got 34 points. So, Coach Fratello, as we get the second half going here, it's Team USA holding on to the lead. The problem is that might only further motivate the NBA stars. Being down to amateur players at this point in the game will really fire up their competitive spirit. That's going to be fun to watch. Here's Tisdale, defended by Bird. Alford passes to Jordan. Here's Mullen. Rebound the star. Outside, Aguayo. Good. And it's Bird picking up the assist. Assisted by Larry Bird. Bird's got assist number five here tonight. Excellent focus by Aguayo to convert through the contact there. That's one of the things that I think makes him such a great score. Aguayo against Mullen. Over Aguayo. And it's good off the back rim and in. Mullen's got six points. The NBA stars trail by 16. Chris Mullen. McHale's checked foul. in for the NBA star. Whitman comes in for Pax. Ewing's checked in for Team USA. Here's Thomas. In some ways, this game between Team USA and the NBA stars is a classic matchup of youth versus experience. No one knows this game better than the NBA stars, but Team USA has such explosive athleticism. Hey, yo. Jordan outside. And so here are the stars. They trail by 16. Thomas passes to Aguirre. Outside, McHale. Passes to Aguirre. And Ewing with the block. Great at knowing when to time and go up for the rejection. Ewing, a superb defender. Jordan looking it over. With some arc. To the middle. Second shot opportunity. Ewing kicks to Jordan. McHale with the rebound. So, Clark, if this is a battle of youth versus experience, which wins out? Kevin, that's a hard call. It's tough to pick a favorite here. I mean, I think Team USA could surprise us by keeping the energy level high as this game wears on. But down the stretch, I tend to lean towards the experience of the veterans because they've been here and done this so many times before. Yeah, they know how to finish strong. Exactly. Catching up on the changes for the NBA stars. Williams comes in for Bird, and it's Easting in for Isaiah Thomas. 
The NBA stars trail by 16. A lot of this game already in the books, and offensively coach Michael Jordan has been putting on a show, finding shot after shot after shot. And taking a big scoring lead over Larry Bird. I really think this NBA stars unit was just unprepared for Jordan. <laughs> Maybe they thought an amateur would be easy to guard. Maybe they did. I don't know. It has been interesting, though, Ed. You know, I find this an interesting challenge that all of these players have to deal with. Playing with a coach they're not quite familiar with. That can be more challenging than it seems when you haven't had a lot of practice time to build up a relationship there. And with how effective he's been offensively, you'd like to see him be more aggressive. He needs to keep shooting if they want to cut into this lead. Here's Jordan. Oh, yes, the turnaround. Jordan. Jordan's got 38 points. What concentration from Jordan. Not allowing the defense to affect this shot, even with contact. Seasting passes to Williams. Double team on Williams. McHale on the wing. Defended by Mullen. Aguirre, no good. Mike, you can speak about this, but I've always thought it's an interesting dynamic when players have a new or temporary coach in control. It's really all about respect. As a player, you have to respect what the coach is trying to do. And as a coach, you have to respect that the players aren't fully accustomed to your style and be patient with them. Sounds like communication key. Michael Jordan grabs the miss. Jordan's got rebound number eight now on the night. Well, most of this game behind us now, and all you can say about Michael Jordan's performance, Mike Fratello is, wow, I mean, what a show he has put on against these NBA stars. He certainly does look league ready, doesn't he? Oof. You can just see why fans are so excited about Jordan's potential as part of an NBA team. I mean, he's got everything. Look how fast Jordan acts. Once he sees an opening, snatching the ball and getting it up the court. Seasting passes to Aguirre. Pass to Seasting. Pass to McHale. Here's Whitman. It's good. The assist that time for McHale. Selfless play by McHale with the ball. Didn't like what he saw for himself, so he gives it away. Here's Jordan. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Jordan's got 40 points. You must applaud what Michael Jordan has done in this game. He certainly hasn't looked like an amateur. He's looked like a pro. And so, Coach, it's Team USA currently in the lead with most of this game now behind us. Give a lot of credit to the young guys of Team USA for being in this position. But they can't take their foot off the gas now because the NBA stars will play hard right up until the buzzer. Team USA leading by 18. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Oh, the determination is unmatched. MJ able to embrace contact and finish. Substitution on the shoot one more. And the stars. Now going with a whole new group out there. Team USA also making some changes. Sam Perkins, he's checked in for Ewing. And it's Tisdale in for Turner. And it's Thomas with the ball. He brings it up for the Stars. Now here's Paxson. Team USA grabs the miss. Jordan's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And no good, trying to use the glass. The Stars trail by 21. Defensive Shooting foul. foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. What well, catches my team. eye as this game wears on is the consistency of Team USA. Young guys often start to lose focus down the stretch, but not Team USA. The concentration from Team USA could be an indication, Clark, of good coaching. That's part of it, but it also can indicate player IQ. I mean, these aren't just college players. I mean, they're the very best of the college guys. 
They know what it takes to win games, and focus is a big part of that. You said it. Here's Paxson. The shot, no good. Great D that time from Jordan. Team USA leading by 21. Count that bucket. Two points. Jordan's got 47 points. You know, this is why Jordan is such an effective scorer. Picks his spots really well inside. Time called here. The Stars decide to talk it over. Giving up way too many scores inside. I can see why Coach calls the time out there. And when you can't defend your rim inside, you can guarantee Coach is going to address that. Now off the inbound. No good from Paxson. And right now, I think he's ready for this quarter to be over. I don't know if I've ever seen him this cold. Rough quarter indeed. And it's Perkins with the jam. Nice play. by Perkins. His instincts and length really show on the offensive glass. Here's Thomas driving the lane. Here's Bird. They shoot again. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Bird's got his first two points of the night. Here's Perkins. Parrish against the rebound. Parrish has got six rebounds in the game. Here's Bird. Again, the star score. He just makes scoring look so easy. Bird is especially dangerous from the mid-range area. Here's Jordan. The second chance effort, and it's good on the way in. Two points for Michael Jordan. Jordan's got 49 points in the game. Getting aggressive and creating a second chance opportunity. Exactly what coaches want to see. Back to Thomas. Now the pass to Paxson. Thomas kicks to Bird. Passes it to Parrish. He's four for six from the field with that miss. Team USA leading by 23. Jordan, the pass to Perkins. Count the bucket. And Sounds he's good. got a free throw coming up as well. Substitution on Showing good. off his toughness Six, right 21. there. That's a strong play forward. by Perkins to get to the hoop and the harm. For the Stars, Williams, he's checked in for Parrish. Woodson comes in for Paxson. And Buckner subbed in for Isaiah Thomas. Team U USA also making some changes. Person comes in for Mullen. And it's Reynolds in for Alford. Here's Woodson. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it was good. This is why he's a focal point of their offense, because they trust in his ability to shoulder them when needed. Jordan against Bird. Right side, Jordan. Over Bird. And again, Team USA, no luck. Perfect timing right there to rise up and challenge the shot inside. And that's not easy to do, but he made it look effortless. He takes defense very seriously. Woodson passes to Bird, puts it up. Buckner, no good. I think there's way more they could have done there to try and open something up, get something a little better. Yeah, they settled for a poor shot when they didn't have to. No good from Jordan. And here are the NBA stars now. And it's Woodson missing. Outside, Jordan. And there it is for him. Yep, he's their leading scorer in this game and has been the dominant figure today. No doubt about it. And so it's Team USA who is able to capture a win over the NBA stars in this exhibition contest. Mike, what a game we just saw. You have to respect what Team USA was able to accomplish here. Going up against top-tier competition and managing to come away with the win. And the NBA stars taking a loss in Clark that luckily doesn't go on any of their records. Yeah, I doubt that makes it sting any less, though, Kevin. Getting shown up and beaten by young guys is going to leave a bad taste in your mouth. But like we said... A terrific performance by Team USA. You got to give them credit. They went the...